Hello everybody, this is my next lesson. Um, today we're, I'm going to talk about a little bit what I see, you know, what I, I feel, what I see um, that is happening over the year um, in the ballroom dancing, the development. Uh, I, it's not a criticism if it's good or bad, uh, I can tell you if I like it or not, but that's a different story. Um, and I can give you my point of view. So um, I put, I'm going to use some pictures um, of dancers. Um, do not take it personal. Do not think uh, it's, it's because of uh, I like it or I don't like it. But you know, I had to use something uh, in order to to discuss this. Uh, some I know them. Some I don't know who they are. So. Uh, I have a, a picture here, a whole picture. Here is say Alex and Pat Moore. Um, and what, what I want you to pay attention is that you know many years ago, uh, if I draw a straight kind of straight line, this will help us later. Uh, actually, let me. Connected. Okay, many years ago, when you used to dance, it was it was meant to be a man and a woman, and be kind of an intimate relation, and, and, the, and perform something in time with music was something uh, beautiful, of course, but um, was something that it was more about the inner feeling, the, uh, how the couple felt, you know, was it cozy and, and we dance, okay? So, you know, we can say that all the atmosphere, the energy, the sensation is more an inner, so all is inside, so the couple was like feeling for each other. Um, like that. So it was more close, okay? And in that small kind of world, they start developing some skill. And you know, the main skill was, uh, you see here, I'm not sure if you actually see from far away, but uh, the position of hand, how the hand touch, and how they are uh, beautiful. Uh, feet action, foot and feet action, that they made a very, uh, elegant, refined, uh, but it was basically more about the feel. How da, how does this dancing feel between a man and a woman? Okay, so it was. We can say there was an inclusive, like all the if we can call it, I hate this word, but if we can call it energy, was like inside the couple was coming in so nothing was going out everything was coming in it was like a cozy cuddle very elegant refined and they start developing uh, footwork beautiful hand position okay so if you look at the whole picture the hand the extremity hand and feet are very well developed and then um, we there was another era after that. Um, so this is one. I put it here. No, actually, I'll take it out for a moment. I don't want to confuse you. Okay. So we take this. Then there was another here. Now here is a picture of two famous dancers, all of you know, Paul and Sylvia. So, becoming in Hira, where, uh, which is also uh, the Hira that I dance, where we, we tend to stretch everything and made it long lines. So we had like, uh, from elbow to elbow, so we had like, the energy was like, start going out. From elbow to elbow. Spine was going long. 
So all, everything was stretched. Long spine, the hand was, was wide. Still, uh, we had the sensation of touch, but that was gone a little compared to the cuddling feeling. No, we were more about stand up straight, uh, arms should be um, as wide as possible, obviously comfortable. We were looking for comfort, but still we were looking for this stretch, okay, which is long line in the arms, long line in the posture, and we start develop a big um, amount of movement from so a big swing, let's say, a big division of step because of this uh, possibility of lined up, being balanced, basically, uh, being lined up. And so we start develop this big, long um, swing action. Okay, so we could say that from the inner, we became stretched to the infinity, let's say, long, as long as I can be, wide, as wide as wide I can be. So it was the sense of infinity kind of movement. Um, on today, what I see is another development, and we go back to the picture later. And what you see here in this picture is that basically now those long stretched um, line they start becoming out but curved. Okay, so out, if you see the, the shape of this man here, is out but curved. The lady out but curved. So everything is out but curved. Out but curved. Everything is out and curved to the extremity. Um, I think, so, so we went from in, like, you know, coming out of bed, stretch, and then stretched in a curve okay <laughs> so you you will notice this um, on the dance floor now what what is are the consequences of this um, I think you now if we look at picture number one if you look at picture number one That is giving you a, a sense of the intimacy, nice uh, sensation, you want to start dancing. Um, uh, as I say, the benefit was the feel, so we can call the area, the area of the feel, how does it feel, does it feel comfortable, does it feel cozy, the area of the feel where they start developing beautiful feet not so much leg, but feet. So, from this era, what I would like to keep, I would like to keep the, uh, if it's possible, because you know, you should learn from the past and make it better. Um, from this era, era, I would like to keep the feet action, the beautiful and refined the movement of feet and touch, okay? And, the sensation of uh, comfort I would like to keep. So those two I will take from this area and bring them to the next. Okay? From this era, um, what I would like to keep, I would like to keep posture because you know the head the spine should be vertical to the floor. I don't think it should be at all time, but 90% of the time. Okay, let's say I would like to keep it because that is giving me as well a nice uh, stand-up position, elegant, and that it look uh, majestic on my point of view. Okay, and I would like to keep the frame uh, position how the lady was putting the hands on top of the frame uh, so the man was giving the frame like the biggest frame as possible obviously to make it comfortable but also what I would like to keep is 
the development, development of movement, okay, how much could we swing, how much was our volume of movement uh, from foot to foot, the body timing as well. So, and that was all possible because we had good posture and we were balanced. So I remember many times exercises where you know you stop, you put your hands down and see if you balance and then you put your arms up uh, to uh, basically find out if you're aware in balance over your own foot. Okay. Um, so this, the swing action was our greatest asset. Leg action, lines, beautiful vertical lines. Okay, um, what we were missing, I think, was something that you see today, because today is the era of counterbalance. Okay, so we went from cozy to big shape and big movement to counterbalance era. The era of counterbalance, the two weight, two people are going, compared to the beginning, they were with each other, then with each other and stretch. Now they are against each other. I know they have a center, common center, but they are, the weight as, is moving away from each other and they are kept in balance by the hand. Okay? And uh, so if they do the exercise that we used to do, put the hand down, they can't do it unless it is impossible. Okay? <coughs> unless there is a lot of tension. But let's assume that they, they can do that. What we are missing in this area, we, we are missing the swing because the two weights are pulling in two different directions, so they are not anymore one unit, and then we can swing the two body across the floor, but they are against each other. But you know, they develop a, a big amount of rotation and shapes, so they go in from shape to rotation to shape to rotation to shape into a next shape. They are really missing the possibility of swing. Um, so this counterbalance giving you a possibility of rotation, a possibility of having the weight as you see here, if I'm making if I make a line, basically this gentleman here has the feet here. Okay, one foot is here and the head is here. Okay, now I understand that he has another foot here to, to sustain this, but it's impossible to dance with two with the weight on both feet. Yeah? One foot is supposed to be free and one is supposed to have the weight. Um, but anyway, so they, they are bound, they must go from shape to shape. And so what you see today is there is not a beautiful uh, natural turn, there is not a beautiful feather step, there is not a beautiful swing action because it cannot be done. So it's not because of the uh, what is the, the um, dancer do, it's the trend. So if you want to dance today, that's the only possibility you have. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I disagree with the shape. I agree only with the, I really like the look of uh, rotation and the possibility to do shapes, but I think it can be done in, in, in the vertical position too. Obviously, you require more balance. You know, uh, in this way, if you're off balance, the other person can counterbalance you and hold you in balance. Uh, and that's a different approach. So I'm not discussing uh, if it's good or bad. I don't like it, but that's got nothing to do with the, with the, with, with people dancing. You know, they can do it. But it's no problem. Uh, the, the, this ruin, this kind of shape, ruin hero number one, so feet, beautiful feet, ruin hero number two, so beautiful line and shape, and it goes into a new state. So we need to have two feet on the floor in order to stay in balance. I can have only one and be balanced up and with my partner. He loses a little bit of the coziness, the sensation of being 
two people as one, but we're now two people doing the same thing, but we're not as one, so we cannot really uh, communicate as one person. Um, and it does not, on my point of view, uh, show elegance, refineness, beauty. I see people laying down and trying to make big shape uh, to get people clapping at them. I understand that, that this is the trend. Uh, I hope this video of uh, my analogy helped you a little bit. I'm looking forward to see you in era number four. Let's see what's gonna happen. Ciao!